Well, good morning, everybody. It is December 30th, 2023, and literally as I'm staring out the window waiting for this plume of moisture to come through, the first snowflakes have started falling. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the, yeah, the first snowflakes. And guess who came with us today? Hi, guys. <laughs> Since it was early enough, even though she has to be to work soon. It's finally snowing. <laughs> yeah. We have some snow flurries. Yep, absolutely. It's exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. So, yeah, this is great. This is this is great. So we're going to actually uh, head over towards the dam because it should get heavier and heavier as we head that direction right now. And I am just so excited about this. I'm definitely going to do some skiing this winter. I know Nick already did a video on it, but yeah, this is exciting. I can't wait to be on the ski slope while it's snowing. That'll be cool. That'll be cool. Very, very cool and cold. Mm -hmm. But it's just so nice seeing snowflakes falling. And this should pick up pretty quickly as we, uh, especially the direction we're heading as you can see, just sitting here, it's already like twice as much snow falling as it was 30 seconds ago. And it should definitely, definitely really pick up. So in a heartbeat. Oh, this is great. I'm excited to see the ground turn white for the first time this season. I really have a feeling this will be that, that time, but some potentially unfortunate news about this whole thing is uh, it's a little bit warmer than it was originally anticipated and there's a chance we could get a little bit of rain mixed in and so I'm just not happy about that it's like come on man but anyway wow I just looked down Summit Boulevard and it looks so busy and, wh and why we're going this way also is because we're going to avoid traffic. There's going to probably be a lot of people driving into town and we're going to be driving as if we're leaving town and, and take that lake route kind of like we did yesterday, but the opposite route. It's a much more pretty drive when there's snow falling from the sky. And as I said, the further we get this in this direction, the heavier the snow is going to be. Um, and by the time we get back on the other or from around the lake, um, should be coming down pretty darn good. And I desperately need to get this car detailed. It is filthy. I've been driving my brand new car, the 2023 Subaru Outback Touring XT, the one that I've had for over a year, but uh, I never drive it. I've because I want to drive this one into the ground and then I'll have a brand new one already waiting for me with a couple years worth of payments already and um, yeah it's, it's that's my plan but uh decided to drive it starting a couple days ago and it's, it's been such a nice just uh luxurious just beast also he might have to let me drive this one for work now since it's snowing no that's since not happening Kia, it's not no he's just kidding <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, he is. <laughs> no, I am not. Look at, look, see, look at. The ground's turning white over here already. Look at that. Wow. Do you believe that, babe? That's quick. So, yeah, as I said, over by the Big Bear Dam, we should have some more, uh, some more heavier snow coming down, which is why we are headed over there. Awesome. They are getting bigger. They are. You know what? Just for giggles, we're gonna drive through the village. Because when it's snowing, you gotta go through the village. Has anyone seen that video of where they put the um, snowflakes under the microscope? It's the most amazing thing ever. So beautiful. If anyone is interested, look it up. It's the most amazing thing. Gorgeous. It's crazy right. to think that each and every one of those snowflakes has its own shape. It's 
crazy. Crazy, crazy. And actually, they uh, found after the world thought that for the longest time, there's actually a, a, a maximum number to um, how many different types of snowflakes there are. Oh. Because I used to think that every snowflake that fell on planet Earth, was there's different. never one that's the same. Yeah, right? I heard like, that it was like your, the fingerprint. There's never one that's yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as science, like, uh, um, I mean, there's specific types of snowflakes now that they that they say and then y you can get similar ones maybe they're not the same and and i'm still with you i believe that too especially because that's what i've heard all my life yeah and, that's what I've heard and, all my life. and from reputable sources and i'm into meteorology and, but yeah i mean that's that's a pretty cool little fact you know point out there though right yeah. like like that's good on you mate Get on you, mate. Oh my gosh. Look, look, mate. It's snowing, mate. <laughs> I, I would do the accent bat, but I am terrible at accents. You're uh, welcome, mate. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it's snowing, mate. <laughs> Keep your day job, babe. Okay. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Oh, this is just, this is lovely. So, whenever I try to speak in a different accent, like an Australian accent, I think about our friends like Wayne Pepin and, and Shy, Shiloh down there in Australia, um, and John. <laughs> think about you guys a lot you guys are really cool cool dudes <clears throat> i'm honored to have you guys here on this channel for so long now just such cool dudes yeah look at some areas are starting to turn white this is fantastic one of my new favorites to eat at is jack in the box that's just, yeah that's horrible i discovered their um teriyaki bowl and it's oh, so good and it comes with an egg roll Nice. It comes with a heart attack <laughs> and crazy hospital bills when you're when you're older. I've been really good, you guys, about my diet. And speaking of which, we have a really good friend on the channel. He goes by Jason Pacific, and uh, he's always looking out. Um, he's a doctor, and and always uh, um, giving me suggestions on things and I seem to always take him up on his suggestions but uh, he's always looking out with like special probiotics for me and uh, um, like really high high grade omegas and stuff like that and and uh, he's been encouraging me to maintain my diet because how you have to look at something like that is you know you're investing in in your hypothetical bank account for your for your future health and you have to do that now. Just like you put money away for your future, you need to put that 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 health account away for your future too. And you know, as much as I would love to eat my cheeseburgers and fries and pizza every single day of my life, I enjoy living and I don't wanna die a young death. And my older brother, one of them just got diagnosed about six months ago. <clears throat> or four, four, four months ago with uh, heart heart failure and he's he's having open heart surgery on the 15th. He's getting a pacemaker, a, def, a defibrillator, um, and he's only 10 years older than me. So it scares the living daylights out of me. Thankfully, my mom and dad never had any issues like that. But if my brother had it, there's, and he's, he's one of my, two of my, th two out of my three, three brothers who's a, uh, a hundred percent blood. I've got six siblings and, uh, yeah, two of my siblings have my dad and another lady as their mom. And two of my siblings have my mom and another dude as their dad. And then uh, my mom and dad came together and had three kids together. And I'm one of the three kids together. But yeah, so it just worries me. I don't want to have any health issues like that um, and I
said, I don't want anyone out there to deal with stuff like that. I, I mean, you know, life is tough. It really is, but, you know, my worst day on this planet would be so much better than my best day uh, not here anymore. And you guys who've been watching a long time know how, know how much I struggle emotionally with my depression and stuff like that and, and my anxiety about things. Um, you guys know. But I always share with you guys openly and honestly, um, you know, putting myself out there at risk of being made fun of or risk of embarrassment because I do love you guys. And if my experiences and the stuff that I go through can help you guys grow, even the smallest smallest bit then you know what that's that's what it's ultimately all about is touching each other's lives helping each other out and look at look at the snow you guys how awesome is this babe how awesome is this really awesome like, like <clears throat> times infinity awesome this is the first time this season guys that we've had legitimate snowflakes like uh I thought it was never going to happen. As a matter of fact, like, uh, I'm, I'm speaking when it comes to my experience this season. I can't be in every part of this mountain at the same time. A friend of mine, that last storm when we were staying at the hotel, he lives at the very edge of Baldwin Lake, and he, he sent me a slow-mo clip. It was like 15 seconds long, and there was, uh, it was straight snow. But everything that we have recorded, other than the first snow of the season, which was like an icy snow, but it, it was still snow, everything I've recorded since then has been a rain-snow mix. This is the first all-snow that I've, I've recorded this season. So it makes me really happy. It makes me happy for you guys. I want to bring this these joyous occasions into all your lives and put smiles on all your faces and because um, I know how it makes me feel. Like, I, I, I hate getting up in the morning, but you guys know I'll be up at 4.30 in the morning if, if I have to for these storms, because it brings so much joy into my heart. Anyway, I'll try to, to not talk as much for the rest of the journey, just so we can enjoy the first real snow. seeing the ground turning white is just awesome. Just awesome. You gotta remember, babe, that the road is a little bit slick. It's not gonna be, like, super slick because we're above freezing, but just wanna be careful. Look, see, the further we go this way, the more white you're gonna see. Every time, you guys. Every single time. And it's the same elevation. It's no different over here than, than where I live. <laughs> I remember one of my first snowstorms that I was here, I came down this way because it started to snow. And obviously you guys know too that I'm not the biggest snow fan. <laughs> but it's just because the driving and having to shovel everything around is the hard part. But I remember it started to snow and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the mountain and try to escape some of the snow for a little while so I came this way and oh my gosh it was like the snow you escaped into the snow yes I escaped into the snow so I called a local and I was crying and I said how do I leave the mountain I'm trying to escape the snow it's like, and uh, that's drive. what they told me <laughs> what no, no I, was, I was like uh drive that's how you leave. <laughs> so they told me about the way down the back way which I never knew um but yes, this part has always been, if you want to be in the middle of the snow or you want to like really get the full effect, it's right here for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 side of town, you guys, as I've spoke about a lot, is I've coined a term called the Big Bear Snow Rule. And what that refers to, for those of you who don't know uh, or who don't watch that much, is uh, um, <clears throat> there is a specific way that this town receives snow and this side of town 99.999 percent of the time from all the videos i've recorded over nine years plus gets more snow over here 
if there's six inches of snow over here there might be an inch on the other side of town it's just the, it's the craziest thing and it's only eight miles as the crow flies in in the difference so yeah it's it's just ridiculous like uh but again well, i can i can always tell you guys where you want to go try and stay if you want to have more snow like what neighborhoods what part of town um, if you don't really want as much snow but you you just want to be close to the ski resorts and and just up here but don't want to have to deal with shoveling then i can tell you where to go and 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 and, and where to stay as well so um, and that's the first snow plow i've seen working up here so far <laughs> that little weak snow plow but i just want to add plow. That, that this year i am really excited about the snow what yes I are you really there super i don't know what it is i i'm not usually maybe it's my enthusiasm maybe it is maybe it's that i get to be with the coolest snow guy on the snowman the snowman <laughs> on, in big bear <laughs> totally. on big bear mountain i am very lucky so maybe that is why, because I get to drive around with you and I don't have to drive myself around and I actually get to enjoy it, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited about it this year. Look at how white everything is, babe. I know. This is just so awesome. It's like a different side of the <sighs> earth on this side of town. It is. And then, uh, because the storm's rolling in pretty quickly, we're probably going to... Whoa, look at that. Yeah, this is a... Oh, just so beautiful. So I want it to be snowing like this when I'm skiing down the mountain. Well, we can definitely make that happen. <laughs> I've never skied when it's snowing like it's this. It's just our best chance because of my job and because of your job is to go during the week when there's not many people up here, especially after the holidays. Mm -hmm. Like, guys, I've, I've experienced some of the most incredible skiing up here, living here. If we get a big, huge storm, most people will not drive up or the roads will be so impacted that it'll scare people too. And so we we will literally have the whole mountains to ourselves um, during those those storms, when the storms come in heavy. Well, here we go, turning right to head to, to Fonskin. But yeah, I've got a couple ski videos from about seven, or, seven years ago, maybe eight years ago of it was like it just seemed like it was just my buddy Casey from childhood who drove up here from Orange County just he and I skiing through the deepest snow he was snowboarding obviously because he's cool and I was skiing because I'm not but I plan on using those um short skis this year like the short bus you used to like take like the starter <laughs> yeah, the one we used to pick up you on the way with. Pick yes. up you on the way with? <laughs> so I plan on using the, they're like, I guess they're beginner skis or starter skis, which I never knew. I used to see people using them and thought they were like pro skis. <laughs> Found out that they're not so pro. So usually, since skis have changed so much since the skis that I own, my skis I got when I was 14 at boarding school in Colorado. My mom, when she, when she took me to drop me off at that boarding school, we went to, I think, the, the Cherry Creek Mall in Denver, and uh, she, she bought me, like, such nice skis and, and ski boots, and it was, like, my favorite thing ever because our boarding school took us skiing every Wednesday if you behaved. Um, and so I always behaved just to go skiing. Our school even paid us every day. So if you did good and you did all your homework and you didn't disrupt class and stuff, you could make up to $14 a day. And when you're 14 years old, um, back in 1994, $14 a day was a lot of money for a little kid to have. And uh, um, it, it was, and, and funny enough, the times when I was supposed to be punished like doing that and going to a wilderness camp called Outward Bound in Bend, Oregon for three weeks and and my my rehab in Utah for a year, my boarding school in Colorado for for two years. Those are the best memories of my entire so life. You spent very much time at home. No, no, but you know, I I, I I I mean after that and before that I was always at home. Huh? 
Why would you feel sad about that? I don't know. It just, that's how I feel. I had more love than you could ever imagine. And because my parents cared desperately, and I was definitely going down the wrong path and hanging out with the wrong people, an intervention need, it needed to be had. And my mom always tells me it was the hardest thing she's ever had to do. I'm sure of it. Like, by far. And then at the, at the rehab in Utah, I was supposed to come home for uh, Christmas. And about a, a week prior, a few of us got caught passing each other out because uh, it's guys this is just the stupidest stuff like like don't ever ever do this but I'm always honest with you guys so um one of my my a friend there who became my my best friend told on us that we were passing each other out and so we got put on this phase called limbo which is like you like s sit in this freezing cold yurt staring at the wall for like days and uh they take away your ability to go home and that was the probably still the hardest time of my in, entire life not being able to come home and see see my mom and she still cries about it today she said that that was the worst Christmas she's she's ever had because she was so excited that I was gonna come home and and I just choked like literally <laughs> I, I really messed up and I'll never forgive myself for what I put my mom through that Christmas it was just, you know, but when wow, you're, look, you're fishing in the snow, yeah, that's cool. I've heard that's the best time to fish. Yeah, well, I've heard I'm I'm learning more about fishing, and so yeah, when it's when the water's colder, the fish are more active. And I didn't, I don't know the first thing about fishing. But yeah, so, I don't know. These are just some more of my stories, guys. Hopefully, hearing them can help somebody. Um, you know, it really is about sharing your experience, strength, and your hope with other people in hopes that they can take something from it. And if they're going through something similar, maybe, uh, you know, hear about my consequences and how painful it was and, and maybe make a different decision. But anyway, back to the fun stuff. We're entering fawn skin. We're coming into a little bit of a, a blue break up here, as you can see in the sky. But yeah, this is, oh, it's just so incredibly beautiful. And over here to the left is Jackie and Shadow, our famous eagles. Or so we think. No, it's, they're definitely here. They're definitely on this side right along here yeah or on this side no they're definitely over here um one of the views showed like this island that comes out and every time i'm on the lake or just near it i'm always looking for that island and i can never find it it comes out like in a big u like this and it's right below maybe the people that watch that channel will know what i'm talking about that little island that looks like you can kind of walk out onto the lake a little If you can walk out to it, is it an island? Just, wouldn't you have to swim out to it? I know you're. Maybe island is. I know you're. A, you're a godly lady, so you could walk on water, but. <laughs> I'll walk on you right now. <laughs> There's Grout Creek. I know you guys can't can't see it, but that that's Grout Creek right there. Once we start getting good snow, we'll 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 do quite a few clips there because that waterfall is so beautiful don't you think so babe absolutely that, yeah so beautiful this has been i mean all all the way around it's been such a beautiful year it has been um springtime fall just i don't know i guess the mountain has been really growing on me because i really enjoyed it this year my mornings I'd wake up in the, the sunrise and the crisp air and seeing the lake so early in the morning and just like would get my day started. Yeah. Very happy. I like your beanie. Thanks. Yeah. I got it from this um, like big, the, this channel called Big Bear Weather and More. That's an awesome beanie. Yeah. 
So the guy that does the channel, he's okay, but you know, the merchandise is great. <laughs> he's so annoying. He never shuts know, up, sometimes, that guy. Sometimes. He just runs his mouth constantly. Really cute, it, though. It's like, I just want to watch his channel just, <laughs> just to see the snow once in a while. Not, <laughs> not hear him talk the whole time, but super annoying guy. Seriously. Can you imagine what his wife goes through? Oh, my home? gosh. That poor thing. <laughs> that poor thing. I don't even know how his channel's gotten to where it's gotten because he doesn't shut up. She's very lucky that she gets to hang out with such a hot guy. <laughs> oh, 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 babe. Checks in the mail. Frequently lost, but it's in the mail. <laughs> Always lost. You yeah. never get that check, just so everybody knows. <laughs> All right. Enough talking smack, babe. <laughs> So yeah, what's probably going to happen is, is when I get back to upload this, as I'm uploading this, I'm probably going to have to go back out and record another video because the heaviest stuff is supposed to be here in probably 30 minutes. Oh, the snowball. Oh, never mind. Forget 30 it. minutes. It wasn't a snowball. It looked like a, a perfectly round snowball, but it was actually a styrofoam cup crumpled up into a ball. That's horrible. I know. Terrible. I should have stopped it. Yep. Thankfully, we have teams of of people who will reg yeah, they regularly do a great job keeping go out and, uh, and and volunteer to like clean up. When we're out there walking around, you guys will always pick up trash. Like, uh, yes. Even when when you saw my best friend and I, Curtis, uh, um, with those uh, metal detectors and stuff, we had a whole bag of trash just Did from. You? Yeah, just from one hour out there. A whole bag in spots where there's not a lot of, like, uh, walking because we were off the beaten path. So that was super disappointing. But again, that's that's just wind and stuff like that that's blowing it over there. But still, to see it not, like, next to the paths and just all over was just horrible. Well, Mother Nature loves you for that. Well, you know what? And hey, we she, do too. She, she deserves as much love as we can yes, give back. She does. Whenever I go to the dog parks or just walk around lakes with the dogs, I always pick up trash if I see it because, you know, I always think about how they say that the ducks and birds and things like that will eat it. I don't want somebody to have a potato chip bag in their throat. Yeah. Or, or anything unnatural. I've actually seen a seagull throw up a whole bunch of trash before. Yeah, that's not cool. It's terrible. All right, guys. So the further, so as we get closer towards Stanfield Cutoff, it looked like a little bit of a wall of snow. So it it's still snowing, like better than it has all season, even right here. But the, typically, the further we start going this way, especially on on this road, North Shore, AKA Highway 38. Typically the snow gets less and less and less. I'd be willing to bet you anything, if we went out to Baldwin Lake right now, there there wouldn't be any snow on the ground at all. And you know what? I know it's a little late in the video, but Deborah Dixon, thank you so much for that for that that Christmas card for Rachel and myself. You were so awesome. I, I hope you got our thank you for the last card you sent a couple weeks ago with um, with that uh, the uh, pic of your daughter. I you and your daughter, I believe. You guys are awesome. We we really appreciate you guys being so so supportive. And just kind of telling me a little bit about you guys. Just just super, super cool. That's one of the, if not the best part about this channel, is getting to know you guys. Kind of like we got to know Jim, Jim yesterday. And for those of you who didn't watch the Calm Before the Storm video, Jim, uh, he's a, a friend slash fan of, of this channel. And he's in town. He wanted to meet me. And I figured, you know what? Since I got to do the Calm Before the Storm video, why don't you just come with me? And he was stoked, and I couldn't believe it. But then we start to talk about what he uh, does. And, you, and as I said, those of you who didn't watch, you're not going to believe this. If you guys are Star Wars fans, he's, he, he spent many years building the um, props and stuff. And 
one of his most recent props was the the Mandalorian and uh, some of uh, uh, the other really really famous Star Wars stuff. Um, which just blew my mind. For me, like, uh, which is sad. I've I I've never been too into Star Wars. Everybody in my life that I know has. So, and I know how big of <laughs> how big of a deal that is to be part of that, and and to know George Lucas and all the the big time executives at at Disney. It's just it's just. <clears throat> I just could not believe it. His name's Jim Lewis. And again, he he built the Mandalorian and a few other really amazing props. And he's also built props for, um, as I said, Disney and for some, some of the rides and stuff. Like, just, just a cool, cool dude. I mean, a really cool dude. <coughs> All right, so... Coming up to Stanfield Cutoff. It's the next stop sign, and then we're gonna be crossing over the edge of the lake. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like out over the lake. driving around the town all the time. Not I, in the morning when I am. I, yeah, that's true. Here, I just gotta roll this down real quick. So we're gonna take a look. So you can see that wall of snow way out there. And when I say way out there, I don't mean it's not that far, but it's a nice wall of snow. And then over here, we got a little bit of snow starting to fall on this side, but as you can see, the ground over here is not white yet. And the further we go that way, towards Big Bear City, again, the less snow you're, you're gonna see. So this is this street right here is what basically separates the snowy part of town from the lesser, from the least snowy part of town. I'm excited to get this video up and then go right back out for a uh, for the heavier snow that's supposed to hit in about 30 minutes. But I gotta get you guys to see what's going on right now. So so exciting. Temperature's 34 degrees. Again, there there is a chance shortly that some rain could could mix in, and I'm not thrilled about that. Not at all. Because that'll make the ski conditions miserable. Rain and skiing is just, those don't match. Oh, these snowflakes are so pretty. I just changed my windshield wipers a couple days ago in anticipation and uh, they are doing a great job. I didn't realize how bad my last ones were. Usually I change them twice a year. Once winter's done, I get rid of them and toss on brand new ones for our summer thunderstorms and then uh, you know, right before our first snowstorm, I'll swap them out again. But yeah, we didn't do any sliding like usual. The snow tires and the all-wheel drive do a great job. And guys, as always, thanks for cruising with us. As I said, there will be another video uploaded probably in the next, I don't know, two hours after this one uploads, maybe three hours, because there's only about a five or six hour window at best for this storm. Um, and as I said, parts of it are, are supposed to get pretty moderate. So 
Again, thank you guys for cruising. I will talk to you guys later. Please like and subscribe. Help us out, we'd appreciate it. We work really hard to do this. Um, no matter what though, I wanna make sure that I've earned the subscribe from you guys. Uh, because you know what, I can... hard work pays off. So if you guys feel like I have I have earned it, please please take, take that time to hit that subscribe and that like button. Definitely, and if you wanna be a part of a really cool channel that talks about fun stuff and drives you around the town, hit the subscribe. That's right. You don't want to miss out. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Real life stuff, you guys. Yeah. It's about being honest. It's about being real. And uh, at the same time, as she said, having fun. And knowing that we all go through the same thing. We're not alone. 100%, you guys. We all live on this planet. We all go through heck. So, yeah. love you guys. Love we'll you. We'll see you soon. And uh, enjoy the the first real snow of the season. Peace out, you guys.